Here we are at the default Google search page. Let me paste in the name of the Georgian loser who uh, got killed in the training runs and just click Google search. Okay, let me scroll down here. The first few links uh, look legitimate all looks uh, legitimate as far as I can tell. Uh, what's a little bit of giveaway is when you do see the search term as a parameter. So uh, here like arabglobe.com, uh, lifeschools.com. Let's click on lifeschools.com and see what happens here. Okay, uh, already we got uh, something here that's odd, uh, that uh, doesn't work right. Uh, let's try the next one, arabclope.com. Something is being loaded and what comes back looks at first sight just like the regular Google page, uh, kind of like we got redirected back to Google. But uh, now look really carefully at the URL here. Instead of a G, the first letter is a Q. And it's well, kugelsearch.com, not google.com. Now let's try the same search in Internet Explorer. This is Internet Explorer on Windows 7, so everything uh, fully patched. Let me uh, just paste in the search and go to Google Search. Okay, we uh, get the same results. Let me now uh, click again on uh, arabglobe.com and see what we end up with. So you're already seeing in the URL bar that we are redirected to xsearcher.net and then it pops up here, asks us to install Adobe Flash Player. Uh, this is actually the authentic Adobe Flash Player, but I'm still not going ahead here and installing it. If we keep on going, we'll then be redirected to a download site that offers us uh, some videos. What you get really depends on the luck of the draw. Sometimes you do get a fake antivirus. If you do happen to end up with the fake antivirus pop-up, basically a pop-up that tells you that you're infected, close in an explorer immediately and then, well, uh, it may not work, but uh, give it a try and run an antivirus scan on your system to see if anything snuck onto your system.